how to get your head in the clouds to handle COVID-19 and to supersize and grow your business. Sharon horn Elstrom here, and our idiom today is head in the clouds. This is an idiom that's been around since the mid-1600s, and originally it was head in the air. If you were acting in a daydreamy, lost in thought, absent-minded, far off kind of way, people would accuse you of having your head in the air. Well, the air comes all the way down to the ground, so that kind of didn't make a lot of sense. So over time, the expression became head in the clouds because heads tend to be heads. Heads are on the top of our heads, duh. <laughs> clouds tend to be far above our heads in the sky. They're lofty and they're, they're just way out there. They're definitely someplace else. So when the idiom was changed to head in the clouds, it made more sense to people because it just described our way of being lost in thought, deep in thought, daydreaming, planning and scheming and thinking about things that most other people don't think about. Uh, has anyone ever told you, be realistic, get your head out of the clouds? I definitely have been told on several occasions, that's not possible, that's impossible, get your head out of the clouds. That's absolutely not ever going to happen. Both in corporate America as well as by people when I was working on projects and things in my personal life as well as different business entities that I've been involved in over my decades of experience with businesses and with life and usually what I found is that people will tell us things and they don't do it some people will do it to undermine us especially in business but other times they tell us things because they love and care about us I remember following my sudden cardiac arrest I made the proclamation to my family big mistake that I was going to exercise every day for a year I knew that after that event I'd done some research that if you want to survive three or even six years beyond having a heart event, the vast majority of the people, unless they made massive lifestyle changes, wouldn't survive. And so there's always big milestones where most people drop off statistically. Well, I didn't want to be a statistic and obviously I beat that. So I decided I had to make massive lifestyle changes. And one of those was I had positively, absolutely not been doing anything physical on purpose or for my health. And so I, I decided and I made a commitment to myself that I was going to exercise every day for a year. And I thought, well, I'll enlist the help of my family and they'll keep me motivated and keep me going. Big mistake. They basically just said I was bonkers and crazy. And granted, they know me better than anybody else. And for the last two decades, I have pretty much done the minimum to get by with respect to physical activity and my health and taking care of my physical body in terms of movement and getting exercise on purpose you know I did stuff with the family but it was usually the minimum to get by with the family like if they went for a big long hike I'd go for a little hike and then I'd go back if we were camping and make dinner and so I could only go on a little hike so they knew me and and you know in their estimation they were setting me up for success they're like don't do that you're gonna set yourself up for failure you're just gonna quit and then you're gonna get all disappointed in yourself da 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 well they forget that all you have to do is tell me I can't do something and then it's absolutely positively done so I have my own little personal strategy that when I want to commit and make sure I'm gonna do something I just tell some people and then they tell me I can't do it and then I know for sure that I will I will make it happen um, kind of reverse psychology on myself but how do we use this how do we use this head in the clouds philosophy to grow and build and supersize our business and handle whatever comes up things like pandemics things that I don't think any of us could have imagined that there was going to be this pandemic and our businesses in many instances would be immediately shut down or required to shift and change and pivot and figure out how we were going to continue to serve people even though the way we'd always done it was was just no longer an option it was no longer available so how do we do this how can we use having our head in the clouds being a daydreamer not being realistic looking for solutions being flexible being open-minded being quick to try and tweak and change and do things but remembering to have a big picture focus a long-term impact and implications of the changes that we make while being quick to respond and and flow to how we can serve people if we're always asking ourselves how can I continue to help and serve the people that I've been serving all along? We find a way, we get the answers. Asking questions is the best way to continue to keep our head in the clouds. Thinking outside the box, proverbial box of how we've always done things is one of the best ways to handle any kind of change or challenge, especially something as massive as COVID-19. So in your business, are you 
trying to go back to business as usual or have you accepted that it's solution time and we're, we're done worrying about the problem here's here's what we're gonna do for solutions a B C D we're just gonna keep going through and tweaking and trying those we're gonna ask questions we're gonna ask for help when we need it but we're gonna continue to take action we're not gonna be frozen hoping and waiting for things to go back to normal because they're not gonna it's not gonna happen especially anything that's happened to change this long um, the only way our businesses are going to survive, the only way we're going to make it through this situation in our life is if we are open-minded and flexible, if we are quick to respond and try and take action, not freezing, and realizing that it's 100% up to us what we're going to do. Yep, the government might give us loans and help in some areas and aspects of our businesses and our lives, but for the most part, it's up to each and every one of us individually to take action and to be responsible for ourselves moving forward in determining what we're going to do to provide for ourselves and our businesses and the people that are counting on us with respect to our businesses, especially our customers and those that have partnered with us in our businesses to provide products and services and give value to other people. So that's my two cents on head in the clouds. Love to know your experience with this idiom. I know one of the best pieces of advice I ever got about um, having our heads in the clouds or, or daydreaming or people thinking we're crazy about things came from my, my late father. And he said, be quiet about what you're doing. Don't talk about it. Show people what you're doing. That way they know. Demonstrate that you're serious about something. Don't just talk and tweak about it because... People won't believe you until you show them and model for them what it is that you're going to do. Demonstrate it, show it, don't just tell. And that was some of the, the best advice I ever got from him. So go out, have an awesome day, and I will be with you tomorrow with another interesting idiom. What does it mean? Where does it come from? And how might you use it in your life and your business right now?